Praise the Lord, warriors of God. Good morning, Derek. Lynn. We're praying for America and time spent with the word. Mm -mm. In the beginning was the word. The word was God. The word was with God in the beginning. Jesus Christ is the word of God. Father, we come in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, as we pray over America this morning. We're asking you, Holy Spirit, that you will give us insight, revelation into the things yet to come. That what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, what no mind can comprehend the things you have in store for this nation. And we're asking you, God, that you will give America ear to hear what the Spirit of the living God is saying to this nation for such a time as this. In Jesus' name, amen. Job 33, verse 1. But now, Job, listen to my words. Pay attention to everything I say. And I believe that in this time and this season, this era that we're in, the spirit of the Lord is speaking to America. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, the first order of this is humble themselves and pray. The leaders of this nation must humble themselves and pray. Those who are looking to getting into power must humble themselves and pray. Because he said, if my people who are called by my name, the church must humble herself and pray will humble themselves and pray, seek my face. He says, ask and it shall be given, seek, and we will find, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. America must turn from her wicked ways. The leadership in this nation must turn from their wicked ways. <clears throat> oh my God, help us. And he says, pay attention to everything I say. The word of God tells us that righteousness exalts the nation and sin is a reproach to his people. Men are always to pray. A nation that fears the Lord, a nation that prays and seeks the Lord, it is that nation that will prosper in the things where it sets its hands to do. Violence in the streets. Attacks from the north, south, east, and west of this nation. We have the power to intercept, interrupt, dissect, and destroy the plans of the enemies through prayer, through fasting, and through the word of God. Praise and worship. It is time for such a time as this that we seek the face of God. And as the Spirit of God is speaking to America, and the nations of the world, oh my God, the world through the word of God. And he is speaking through those that he has chosen for such a time as this. It will behooves us to have ears to hear expressively what he is saying to the church and to the land. Father, I pray in Jesus' name that you will open the eyes of America's understanding. That it be enlightened that America will come to know the hope of your calling and your inheritance in your saints. Open the eyes of America's understanding that America, God, would turn from its wicked ways. So that, Father, you can come in, be ushered in to heal and restore the land. We bless your name this morning and we pray, Father, that you would take over by your righteous hand, judges within this country that do not have your heart or that have an agenda and are going along with the mob. Father, let there be a suddenly, 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 suddenly. In the mighty name of Jesus, and let the bench be taken from up under them and given to the one who fears and reference and puts you first. Oh my God, oh my God, I see it happening. I see it happening. I see it happening. I see robes, judges' robes being taken off. My God, and it's like a mantle, an anointing being lifted. 
because they had the anointing to do what was right and they refused. So now it is removed and it is placed on another, just like, oh, wow, Holy Spirit, thank you. Just like Saul and David. And so, Father, I pray that you will cover we the people in this land, that in the midst of trouble, calamity, and famine, we shall and will have plenty by your grace and your mercy. This we ask in Jesus Christ's most holy name. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you, keep you, preserve you, cover you, hug you, sealed you, kiss you, and me. My God, there is nothing like a kiss from the Lord Jesus. Ooh, glory to God. Ooh, thank you, Father. Oh, make us undone today in your love, your umbrella of love, your umbrella and blanket of warmth. In Jesus' name, cover us, God. Cover us, God. With the precious blood of Jesus, cover us. Thank you, Father. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God. And let's continue to stand by the grace of God. Well, until the next time. Shalom.